Hey guys, back at you with another video. As some of y'all know, I am, well, I'm currently one day post-op. I had a small operation yesterday. Um, today, my friend decided to take me out this morning to garage sales since I wasn't able to drive and this is everything we got. Guys, the grind doesn't stop, okay? I can get surgery and I'm still going to go to garage sales if I am physically capable. So. Here's what we got. I'm going to go through it really quickly. A Vera Bradley bag. Um, we got some Ford King Ranch floor mats. We did get another swung vase for a dollar. We got a aluminum pan set. There's some right there and then there's some more over there. They're from the same place. I just put them in two separate bags. Some random things. I found these awesome vintage wall hangers. I love those. It also came with these. Also got these cat... Um, patterns i guess you could call them i got the spine deck it's mainly for me because i've seen videos of those and it was three dollars got some blow mold halloween lights i don't know if they work some more vintage halloween i'm gonna be skipping over some stuff guys this is just really quick the sugar skull sensi my friend saw it at a sale she caught it it caught her eye before it caught mine and i was like oh my gosh i want it <laughs> more barbies keep an eye out guys i will be doing a barbie whatnot Cool vintage spice rack and then there was a house with some stuff outside near the trash um so i got that scrapbook back there for free this mirror which says ihome on it so i'm thinking it has bluetooth i also got this oil lamp thing without the shade some more stuff barney towel harley davidson shirt got a vintage snow white tree skirt a weird mug with it's got like a little guy inside it's kind of creepy but I gotta do some research on that. A couple of vintage like dog pillow plushies, I, checkerboard, I don't know. A uh, bunch of random stuff here. Got strawberry shortcake, got this really cool clown tin toy. Got some vintage clackers, this really cool old Barbie ring. Pretty neat. Um, some Eskimo bobbleheads, lots of stuff here guys. Did find Wii Sports for a dollar. I just picked up the other two. I don't know if they're really worth anything, especially that Tiger Woods one. For personal use, I found a, a little tiny skull and some crystals. Um, got these Disneyland like movement activated drumsticks, which are pretty cool. A Wizard of Oz ornament. Some other random Halloween things. We did get a Slytherin Harry Potter beanie with a little brooch or brooch on top um we did find silver today guys this little thing necklace little thing uh says good luck on it but on the back it does say 925 silver i'm not sure if i'll be able to get it to focus properly but it does say 925 up there at the top pretty cool so paid a dollar for that lots of great finds today and it wasn't even the craziest day there was only maybe eight sales today tomorrow there are 16 so double the amount of sales tomorrow i'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff put away get some rest eat some dinner relax if we're feeling up to it i'm going to go to sales tomorrow gosh i almost forgot guys if you happen to come across any of these old walmart bags they actually sell on ebay so i have three here this one's in good condition the other two might have holes but I did see a few go for like $6.60 free shipping, which I mean, if you get these like, like it's a free like three bucks. But anyways, if you happen to have them or find them at a sale, you never know. Check them out. Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon. I'm out in the trailer pulling some orders because we have not packed up anything since about Wednesday of last week. We were on time away mode for a couple days. So We've got a lot of stuff. First thing was this whole lot of Star Trek books. This is actually two separate lots I had listed on my store. Someone wanted both lots. Um, they're all in $55 plus shipping for all of these books. And if you guys remember, we got all the books from a Star Trek lot at the auction that we went to. So we're already weighing the profit from that, which is super cool. Now we've got Kermit the Frog going out for $45 plus shipping with the box inside he is in great condition we got this from the bargains and byways highway sale i paid up for this the lady wanted 35 i believe or 30 i asked if she would do 20 
she said 25 I went ahead and took it. It wasn't a great pickup for the profit. Normally, I wouldn't pay for the, this, but the ladies at that sale were being really nice, so I decided to go ahead and pick that up, and luckily, it sold pretty quickly. Next, we've got a viewer sale. This is going out to Jessica and Zena at Resell the Ride. Met them in Vegas. They were a lovely couple. I absolutely love them. They're awesome. Uh, this is going out for them. I don't remember where I picked this up, guys. I, I'm pretty sure I picked it up just recently, but for right now, I cannot remember when I picked it up and how much I paid, but anyways. 560 plus ship. We've got this game going out. This game was a huge part of my childhood. Zuma, it's like a little frog dude, and these little colored balls come out, and you have to match them in time uh, before the timer runs out, or before they're there's too many and then you lose the game but this game was so awesome I actually put this into my laptop and played it for a while before I sold it so I got a little bit of fun out of it and I only paid a quarter for it I think it was last summer this one sold pretty quickly 19 plus ship we've got this five nights at Freddy's Bonnie plush we got this at the Goodwill bins actually Jimmy old school flips found it for me and I went went and bought it cleaned it up a little bit so that was a pretty nice pickup 17 free ship six plus ship we've got the Sarah Coventry earring and brooch set eight dollars free shipping this playstation memory card it is untested and 15 plus ship we just picked up this guy at also at the bargain and byways highway sale paid five bucks sold him for 15 really cool disneyland resort bobblehead seven dollars and 70 cents free ship this is a monster high accessory i think it's like a choker 13 free ship picked this up last weekend for a buck 1120 plus ship we've got this going out this was an item that ebay randomly delisted that i found out um it really should have sold last summer it's a great item for summertime but anyways it's finally going out now i think we paid maybe five bucks for this last year and up here we have a heart-shaped picnic basket that's in this box that fits it perfectly 45 plus ship the buyer is all in over a hundred dollars for it i'll go ahead and open it up so you guys can see it here in a moment here it is it is adorable i think we got this at goodwill for eight or ten dollars it's in great shape very 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 cute 19 free ship we've got this little swarovski crystal hourglass 13 plus ship we've got this little um key fob holder pouch thing if i can get the box open there we go little fob holder thing we paid a couple bucks at a garage sale um about a month ago now 49 plus ship we've got these burton snow boots going out four dollars plus shipping we've got these used hallmark ballerina stickers going out this came in a huge sticker lot that i purchased earlier this year and the last item going out 11.55 free ship this little cute buffalo plushie so i'm out here in the trailer waiting and cubby's gonna come pick up this big bin because right now i can't lift anything super heavy um but i just wanted to show you progress on the shed i've kind of cleaned up a little bit better we did get this giant cabinet in here this is for all my smaller breakables which is super nice because you can see in there pretty well and then we got larger breakables up there now shoes we have gotten it down to a few totes now we have just one two three four five six seven eight totes plus some snowboarding boots underneath there next to the calico critter play sets and then these shoes up here we have been selling some locally on facebook marketplace pretty cheap i'm still making a profit but um i'm just selling them off cheaper just to get rid of them as much as i can plush is overflowing but that's okay um we did stack both of my organizers here for now since this tote's kind of blocking that we got the sketchy bungee cord because this clothes rack likes to um tilt and it is full of clothes right now as you can see i'm out of hangers so i just have to stack some clothes here on the side until some stuff sells which is okay Blanket section is pretty full. We haven't been selling any blankets, but I'm hoping to get some of those out. We got larger items here on the floor, blow mold, the large brat stall. This is kind of my holding area for some smaller items or more palm size items that I don't want to get lost in these totes. Bunch of random stuff on top that's kind of just a holding area until I find a spot for them. Since we got rid of that picnic basket and the box, we got a spot for this big box with a giant plush lemur in it and the blow mold. Oh, almost knocked something over. Cleaned up my purse area a little bit. Um, books area is overflowing, which is why we've got books here, here, and also underneath there. I'm still looking for a rug at a garage sale that I can get on the floor so it looks a little bit nicer in here. 
and it is pretty nice out today which makes it really hot in here it's the hottest day probably so far and I'm like I'm dying already and it's only maybe 70 degrees out today so <sighs> we're gonna need to get some AC or something going through here anyways hey guys it's Sunday I went ahead and pulled a few more things that sold 1250 plus ship and 1050 free ship 16 free ship 11 free ship 1120 plus ship getting rid of some more shoes and 13 free ship for this vintage lands and fanny pack hey guys it is monday this is stuff from um what was it saturday and today's haul at goodwill so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got we got some free bookends i'm gonna try to use those for my um usps box storage i think i can use those. So I found these in a free bin. Got this Cafalon four slot toaster for I think five bucks. Uh, I need to clean it up. You can see it needs some needs some cleaning especially, but that should be a good flip. Then we got a stained glass lighthouse. I don't know if it works. Got some um, cobalt blue bowls. We paid 50 cents for all of them and they are marked on the bottom. Then we got this vintage dragon plush for free. We got this Pyrex butter holder for 10 cents. You can see underneath here, it is Pyrex. Got some troll dolls. A uh, Guitar Hero 3 for the Wii. A cookbook. Um, one of these s'mores tackle boxes. I picked one of those up uh, about maybe a couple months ago and I sold it locally pretty well so I found this one for 50 cents and I picked that one up as well we got this plush it's actually for off bug spray and I looked him up really quickly it looks like he is sought after so that's pretty cool scentsy warmer got some scentsy wax bars got some earrings they are marked west germany on the back kind of like that pendant I sold about a month ago and then we got a sterling ring and this cute little vase thing that was kind of for myself, unless I can find comps on it. Some candle holders, some replacement brush heads, some earrings. Got some more Barbies. Then we've got Taco laying on, <laughs> or scoping out a spot to lay. I got this shirt. I think I'm going to keep that. I think it's for a band. Um, I need to look them up, but I did find this at Goodwill. It's a nice oversized shirt. If not, I'll go ahead and sell it. Then we got a Ralph Lauren shirt and a Nike pullover, which is also going to be for me. We got some Doc Martens. We paid two bucks for those. Today at Goodwill, I found this. Um, I don't know what it's called, but Johnsonville. And it's got these interchangeable plates paid $13 or $12.99. Um, I saw really good comps, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that. Or I went ahead and picked that up. This was from Saturday. It's a Pillsbury Doughboy. And I found out he's actually a puppet, it looks like. So that's pretty cool. Also at Goodwill, got some of these. Not great value, but it's still something. This little doTERRA essential oil thing. And inside, there's a stone. So I'm wondering if it's like one of those things so you can carry a scent with you. Because it's got one of those uh, stones inside that is really absorbent. So that's what I think it is. But anyways, I saw a comp for two of these for about 20 bucks plus shipping. So figure just the one, $1 and the 10. Found this, I don't really know what it is, but it came with the cords and it was five bucks. Really good selfie rate. So I went ahead and got that. And I jumped on the Lonnie and Candace train and picked up some hot rollers for four bucks. This one had also a really good selfie rate. So we're gonna go ahead and try our luck with that. And that is everything we got today. I completely forgot to show you guys this Chex Mix hat, um, it kind of blended in with that shirt. So I kind of forgot about it, I paid five bucks. Um, there's two listed pretty high on eBay, none sold, but I figured I could pick it up and undercut the other two people that have them listed and see if we can get to sell. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday, beautiful day outside. It kind of smells like campfire outside for some reason. Anyways, we got a bunch of stuff going out. I'm gonna show you what's sold. 23 free shipping, pick this up for a buck last weekend. 11.50 free ship i got this for like two bucks um it, it's two halloween like cross stitch kits i figured they would sell and they did i went ahead and just took an offer because i didn't want to let them sit because i have a bunch of these kind of craft kits sitting around so i figured i'd just take an offer and get it out of here 
Then we've got this for 18 plus ship. This was actually mine when I was a kid. My mom found it and gave it back to me. We went ahead and sold it. So we have nothing into these. Don't mind all the traffic noise, but 26 plus ship. We've got this Barbie Shakira doll. We picked her up a couple weekends ago. You guys will see the GoPro footage from that. And 22 plus shipping. I've got this Jack Daniels PBR button up shirt. After I got it, I realized the tag was actually off, so I went ahead and put like a pit to pit measurement and a collar to hem on the bottom measurement and went ahead and sold it. So we picked it up for two bucks, sold for 22 plus ship. Listed all the Bratz dolls that I picked up. This one was the first one to sell, $12 plus shipping. You see her hair needs a lot of work, but still sold and without the shoes. This one sold as well, even though her arm is, or her hand is chewed off, she still sold for five plus ship. 15 plus ship for this vintage cap gun. Another Bratz doll, 9 plus ship. She's going international. And 15 plus ship. We've got this super cute Lily Bloom bag with cats all over it. Hey guys, it's Wednesday night and I'm kind of just winding down. Um, don't really want to list right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do some cleaning and decluttering to relieve some stress because that's what I do. Uh, this is my shipping supply closet. So... Here's what it looks like. I've got one shelf in there, and then we've got an Ikea Alex drawer set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tear everything out and then like redo everything. I think for the most part, I'm going to keep my large boxes up there, my large mailing boxes. But everything else I want to tear out and see how it's going to look um, and reorganize some of my boxes. Like I want to find a spot for shoe boxes because right now... My shoe boxes just live right here, which I do use them probably the most. It's either that or these. I use those quite, quite a bit. But I want to tear all this out and reorganize it, reorganize it, make it look nice, throw away anything I'm not going to use. Because um, I do have a couple bins of this just random packing material. Uh, might need to throw some of that away. Uh, and for those of you that are like, oh, you can collapse the boxes. Well, I don't like to because... You know, there's um, some sides that are sealed, and then if I cut the tape off to collapse it, I will then forget about it. Um, I've done that before, and I put some boxes here in the corner. I'll forget about them, so I like to keep them out and open like this, so that way when I have an item, I can be like, ooh, what do I need to pack? And then I see, like, oh, there's a box that's good for this first-class item, or whatever. You get the, you get the idea. All right, we went ahead and emptied out the whole closet, except for those drawers I'm going to go through right now. But I went ahead and wiped down this whole shelf. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the floor in there. Don't mind that. That's my Ethernet cord going all the way to a different part of the basement. Anyways, um, so yeah, I guess I'll update you guys once I have more to show you. All right, guys, here is the final result of the closet. Got rid of, I had a whole stack down there of large flat rate boxes, which I maybe use like once a year, as well as both sizes of the medium flat rate boxes. So I went ahead and just took five of each and stuck them here, as well as um, some scrap cardboard and stuff. And then all of these will be going soon. I have a lot of large orders going out soon, so some of these boxes will go away. Usually it's not this full. And then we have everything nice and neatly sorted. We've got some like spare packing material, spare um, envelopes, poly mailers, stuff like that. We got like uh, flat rate size, or not flat rate, first class size boxes, and then all of our priority-ish boxes. So there is what the result is. Looks a lot nicer. Just want to clear out some of these boxes here. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. We're out here pulling a bunch of orders to get packed up today, hopefully before the post lady arrives. First thing we've got going out is this, a bunch of these cat garden, uh, like quilting kits, or I don't know what else they're really called. Um, yeah, block of the month quilt. Uh, we paid a buck a piece, there's nine, sold for $90 plus shipping. 11 plus ship, we've got this Ninja Turtle bag. We just picked this up. Um, you'll see it on the GoPro footage. 40 plus ship, we've got these Harley Davidson leather gloves. I think I paid like 10 bucks for those on Whatnot. And for the Ninja Turtle bag, I paid like four bucks. And in my little box of mystery here, got this Indiana Jones game going out for seven free ship. 27 plus ship for these American flag Converse. And we sold our first Polly Pocket, $40, or actually 45 plus shipping. $7 plus ship for this lot of vintage metal planes. 
Here is a nice one, $160 plus shipping. Pick this up at Goodwill for like two bucks and it's going international. 16 plus shipping for this open latch hook kit. $16.80 plus shipping for this Lisa Frank. It's like a shoe organizer with some hooks in there. We've had this for a while, but we only paid like a buck. And the last thing from out here in the trailer is these little Halloween, it's like for a little Halloween city, five bucks plus shipping and it works. We do have a couple more things, but they're inside the house. So I'll go ahead and show you those now. All right, we're inside the house now. We sold this for $17.10 plus shipping. It's a perfume, got it at Salvation Army out of town for like two bucks. So good profit on that. And we've got this beautiful lava lamp. I picked it up for five bucks, not knowing that it's actually one of those true vintage lava lamps and it flows really well and it's really pretty when it's actually going but we sold that for $75 plus shipping very cool hey guys what's up it is Thursday we went out to three sales today there's not a lot there's only like six in total today we did find a few things I'll go ahead and show you but I did want to show you we got new floors there's taco being a cutie we got new floors in our house they're a lot darker and I love them but our living room and everything is pretty empty so we gotta like redo all the furniture, which is super fun. So I'll really quickly show you guys what I got today. And then I think I'm gonna go live on YouTube. It's 1140 right now. The next sale starts at two. So, and I already ate lunch and everything. So I think I'm just gonna list live on YouTube for a little bit. Uh, it'll be my first time going live on YouTube. I've gone live on Twitch before. So going live isn't a big issue, but anyways, for a dollar, we got this Under Armour vest, women's size large, very good condition. The sale I went to had a lot of really nice stuff like nice name brand clothing. Um, some, of that, some of it was pri little, 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 priced pretty high, but I was really surprised that this was only a buck. Okay, what else we got? I got this super cute, actual sterling silver, little sand dollar, it's so cute. I need to redo my nails, guys, don't look at that. It's been, it's been crazy uh, this week. I haven't had time to do my nails and like usually they never grow out this long, so. Uh, we got a pair of sunglasses. These are Steve Madden. I figured if they didn't sell, I could go ahead and just keep them. Mm, I don't know about that, actually. <laughs> I got these for a buck. If not, whatever. Um, and then I got these. They said DG on them. And I was like, what's DG? I look it up. Dolce & Gabbana? I don't know if these are real. But if they are, um, they're worth something. But I'm looking at them. I mean, they're pretty scuffed. I have sold like designer sunglasses before. I sold some Tiffany and Company ones before for, um, were they Tiffany? I think they were for like a hundred something bucks. Um, anyways, I need to look these up or if you know anything about how to authenticate that kind of stuff, let me know. Then we got this really cute Raising Cane's basket. Actually, I just realized, I think it's just a basket with a sticker on it. Unless that's, I just thought it was cool. I mean, whatever, if not, Actually, I think that's exactly what it is. I was like, ooh, it's a Raising Cane's branded bucket. That's pretty cool. And then now I just wrote like, it's just a sticker right there. And then it's got a weird price tag right there, but it's not like a Cane's price tag. Uh, whatever, it was a buck. It's cute. We like, my husband and I like Cane's, so that's cool. Okay, let me go grab the next few things I bought. Okay, so next thing I got was this, probably for personal use. I thought it was really cute. It's black and pink, so it's like my color scheme. Um, it is Gap or G-A-P. I don't know if like that means like the same thing as the Gap store. Oh, actually, I just found the tag inside. So that's pretty cool. I thought I'd keep it, but if I end up finding out that it was an impulse buy, I'll go ahead and sell it. But it was only $2. Look at that. Be great for our next uh, trip. Maybe the one to Cincinnati. That'd be cool. Or uh, the reseller rally, I mean. Um, we got these for free, these Pioneer speaker covers. I looked them up really quickly and looked like there's some stuff if not, um, I might know somebody that could use these. What else? What else? Okay, so last few things. Went to my first garage sale of the day. Didn't find much, but I did find these. These are Anchor Hawking, according to eBay. And I could probably make maybe 10, 15 bucks. I thought they were cool though. Um, only paid a buck for those. Then we went to Goodwill. Got a couple of things for myself, but the one thing I bought that was for a resale was this. I only got it for this dude. Um, this is Deuce from Monster High. I know if you watch Shed Flips, they like to make fun of 
uh, the, the monster names. And um, <laughs> so we got them for, for this one. I don't know what this other one is. It is Mattel. So maybe it's just like a, a Ken doll or something. I don't know anything about Mattel male dolls. Then we got, oh, this is cute. So I keep one of these in my purse um, right here. I'll grab it. So I keep this one in my purse. I have this one, so it says good times. It's got little wipes in it, so it's really good for when I'm out and like say like I'm grad sailing and I stop to eat real quick and I don't have hand sanitizer or, or I don't have access to a sink or whatever. I have these and there's little wipes in them, but I did find another one at Goodwill, the same exact thing, but it's got a cute little astronaut, so I bought that. It's only a buck when I paid like four bucks for this at a grad sale. They had a bunch of them and I was like, well, it's really cute. I guess I'll grab it. But anyways, we got another one for a buck. And we got a cute shirt dress thing. I guess I'll show you guys, but I tried it on. I usually don't like trying on clothes at Goodwill. Like I don't like going into the dressing rooms. It's just, I just don't like it. Um, it's kind of not my favorite thing to do. I'd rather find stuff to pick, but I did find this adorable dress. Um, I don't know what, when I'll wear it, but it's cute. It's cute. I like it. It's kind of my style. Uh, it's, I like how it's a little dressier. Anyways. That's what we got today so far. Now I'm gonna go try to get everything cleaned up and go live on YouTube. You guys will see this after the live, but if it goes well, I'll keep doing it. It might be kind of fun to kind of interact with you guys live um, since I don't stream on Twitch anymore as much as I used to. Some of my viewers do watch me on here, um, but I used to play a lot of video games on there. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point, so I'm gonna hopefully go live and I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, guys, we're at the last sale of the day. The other two, I didn't find anything, but I did find three things at this sale. So I got a rug. I'm hoping it works for my trailer. It looks like it's five foot by 24 inches. It should be about right. I'm not a fan of the color, but it's only three bucks. Paid a buck for this, uh, like, it's sunflower throw blanket. I have luck selling some of these with the style. And then, of course, I picked up a pair of shoes, only because these are Timberlands and they were a buck. So that's all we got today.